Shalom, shalom, shalom. Testing, testing, mic check, mic check. One, two, three. Other rusted lights coming out. Clear. Seems like seems like the weather's not too bad now. Not too breezy. Seems like more warmth is coming in. So we're gonna do this video here and now, man. So want to give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Akakodash. Give double on this audio, this is the Apostles of Great Millstone. Rise up to the ass of David. Yeah, man. So we're going to focus a bit on faith, righteousness, as we usually do. Uh, righteousness, justice, thinking of the time when that, that's going to be raining in the earth. Abaratazar, we make it on the first go round, man. We're those men, you know. Abaratazar, we make it on the first go round. Because we want rush, we want righteousness to rule this earth and justice. The sick of this place, sick of injustice, sick of living around the heathens, being around the heathens. They have a wicked vibration on them. But we, we know there's light at the end of the tunnel. So yeah man, we just have to keep on pushing, striving, and praying, praying and working on that faith. As I was as I was um, doing my workout, I ran, moving around, which I done a little scouting earlier on. You know, extended my little workout routine. I wanted to do that, you know. Because um when you think about faith, when you think about growing in this truth everything is spiritual and we want to grow man grow in the faith grow in the truth grow as men grow as individuals grow in the, the psyche the way we think elevate our mind and levels man so how do we do that we look to your whole shot to do that he did that and he did it in the spirit but he did it on also on all levels man he set by setting the example man let's, let's hit some precepts because I'm, I'm looking and I'm looking at my, my achievement today and I, I set myself a goal. Um, I set myself that goal earlier on this year, last year. Now we're in the year 2023. The hopeful year of all the prophets coming to pass. And we can't give way to lack of faith or doubt. So you may have set certain goals that you wanted to achieve. But I'm thinking, man, I'm thinking of if I was to listen to certain people as far as coming in this truth, I won't be in the truth. I won't be in the truth, man. I won't, I won't be doing no videos. I won't, do, I won't be doing shit. And I can think of the certain things that I probably would be doing and it, wouldn't, it would not have been positive. It would not, definitely wouldn't be positive things if I was to listen to people. And even certain people, close relatives in your family, people want to put throw spanners in the works, put doubts into you, say you shouldn't do that, you ain't that guy, you can't do it, you're too black, you're too short, you not. you ain't got uh, the, the intelligence, let's get this, let's hit this precept out there man, because we're dealing with um, growing in the spirit, through the power and spirit of Yahweh Shri Mashiach, second Ezra chapters 14, Straight to the point of thought, he says, Let go from thee, mortal thoughts. Cast away thy burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. Talking about the mortal thoughts. Heavy thoughts. Thoughts that are weighing you down, man. In the world, they say, um, they call it being negative. That's why a lot of people turn to drugs and alcohol. They don't believe they've got um, a future. They don't see a light at the end of the tunnel, so they turn to other means like drugs, alcohol, fentanyl, opioids, which which is true though. It's true. If you're gonna deal with left hand side energy, you ain't got you ain't got no future. If you're gonna deal with left hand side and be you, it is very bleak for you, very negative for you. There is no future. That's why they turn a lot of the E's and all the other Goyim nations, right? They turn into those means, man. Um Returning back to her and what they used to be, vag vagabonds in the earth. Turning, returning to their drugs, returning to their fentanyl, returning to alcohol alcoholism. 
because the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is pursuing them and it's true and they're getting the message so they realize it's true they have not got no future they haven't got no hope but we on the other hand have a bright future if we if we let if we let go from the mortal thoughts as it says there if we let go from the mortal thoughts we, we're gonna grow man in the in the spirit yeah cast away the burdens of man put off now thy weak nature don't let people put um throw spanners in your works um don't knock it until you try it try it first man try it and see because people will, will say don't try that oh no what you can't do videos man you can't you can't read you know you can't um you can't study i'm just giving throwing out those examples out there you can't um you can't do um your exercise you can't take the herbs the herbs ain't gonna work the herbs ain't got no no um, power in them i can tell you right now the herbs i take work man i have faith in those things through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashim and Shai. And if it don't work for you, then they, then they, that's what it is. They don't work for you. But don't put that, don't try and, you know, if you've got that spirit where you think it don't work for me, so it shouldn't work for nobody else. That's a negative vibe and a negative spirit you're putting out there. Let people try what they want to try. And, and if they find out, nah, it's not for me, they'll, they'll, they'll find out. But we got to be, as even the Edomites, them know, which, which they know that they know that their time is running out anyway. They was living on board time. The, the positive, what they call being positive, was the most I giving them um, free reign, giving them a little bit uh, a leeway, because they were fugitive and vagabonds in the earth. Genesis chapters four. They weren't supposed to pay for their their murderous sins straight away. Most I was giving them some leeway, and if anybody was to take vengeance upon them. They would that they would be punished. So they think that they was getting away with um getting away with murder, literally. The most I was giving them time. Cause he wanted to save the worst till last. Not the best, the worst. He wanted to save the worst till till last. The wicked. You're the worst. He wanted to save the worst till last. So you thought you was getting away with murder. And you thought you was being positive. The most I was giving you a leeway, man. But it's catching up on you now. Yeah, what goes around is the truth saying what goes around does go around, but that's in Galatians 6 and 7. Whatsoever a man saw, if that he should also reap. So we're talking about growing in the spirit, growing in the faith, growing in mentality, growing in mind. And me doing videos has been a blessing to me. And if I was to listen to people, you know, the more videos I can do, first of all, I want to improve the quality of doing my videos, the quality. And then other writers are, if it's the rules, I improve the quantity but this is not my movie this is the most I movie we ain't gonna let no one throw spanners in the works with this thing what your lot is what my lot is and what anybody else's lot is it's been already allotted to them pun intended so let go of the of the mortal thoughts cast away thy burdens of man put off now thy weak nature weak nature putting limits and boundaries on yourself and yeah there's limits and boundaries on your on us but there's certain limits and boundaries that you don't know you've got on you unless you put your best foot forward first i didn't think i was going to be able to when i first started doing this little workout i didn't think i was going to be able to um do a quarter of what i'm doing now first of all it started off halfway then a quarter then double and then triple <laughs> See, uh, you see, it's all, all through the power spirit of Yahweh Shem but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that as being, uh, um, apply that to spirituality too. I'm gonna apply that to spirituality too. So that was um, Sirach, Second Ezra 14 and 14, talking about let go of the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now thy weak nature. And when I'm doing my workout routine, that's my mindset. That's what I'm thinking of. We're limited. We're limited, definitely in these bodies, but we're limited. Sometimes you don't know to the extent you're limited unless you don't knock it until you try it. Let me just say that. Luke chapter 17. I'm just talking about, you know, in the spirit, I'm talking about growing in the spirit and 
not and allow people to throw spanners or limitations on you telling you you can't do three videos a week if you can't do four you can't do five depends man you might have a day or a week where you just do more than you usually do you might just do double what you usually do whatever your limit is you might just do double and every day is different man every day every week is different sometimes i come out and i do my little workout and i'm just um i'm just hyped hyped in the script you know doing just whole heap of things man certain things i'm not gonna say everything but certain things i'm doing you show through the power and spirit of your heart by shimmy or shine he gets the glory man and another day is a different thing you know but it's all about don't knock it till you try it. Yeah, I'm talking now, I'm applying this to herbs too. That day is coming where all these, which we're seeing now, strikes, the NHS, they're all on strike. We ain't gonna be able to rely on none of these pharmaceutical crap, which I've never never really been into anyway, from years. I'm talking about 2000, around 2001. I got into my herbs around 2000, 2001. And I've started to put two and two together about these people these so-called physicians of um, no value, falsifiers, I started to put two and two together. And I was into my herbs, going right back, talking about the green tea. Since all 1999, I was into the green tea, drinking that green tea every single day since. People say to me, why, how come you look so young? <laughs> simple and something simple and basic as drinking green tea every day has kept me reasonably good. Now, let me say, let me say, let me say it right. The herbs with the blessing of the Most High, um, Wisdom of Solomon 16 talks about the herbs and the blessing of the, of the Most High. Not multiplying plaster, but the blessing of the Most High. So it's the herbs as the vessel, but the blessing of the Most High. That's what gives you that. You know, keeps me healthy and young and feeling good. Yeah, so the, it's the blessing of the Most High. But we ain't gonna let no one discourage us because they, they say, they try it one and two times try it one and two time and they say nah not for me you gotta be consistent and persistent when it comes to dealing with things through the most high for ultimately faith from on high is what's going to give you that faith from on high that's why we're focusing on on these precepts now luke chapter 17 and 6 says and the lord said if ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed you might you might say unto this Sick of mine tree, be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it shall, should obey you. <laughs> That's the level Yahweh Shai was on. And yeah, if we want to do anything, it's the Yahweh Shai is the blueprint to follow. He's the blueprint to follow if you want to be successful and succeed and grow through the power and spirit of Yahweh Shai. Shai. Yahweh Shai gave us the blueprint as he was talking to his disciples. That's what it's saying there. If you had, yeah, because if I jumped up, I jump up to five, it breaks it down. Luke 17 and 5 says, And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. <laughs> there you go. Because they wanted their faith to be increased. Right? So what did he say? They asked him, And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If he had faith as a grain of mustard seed, you might say unto this sycamore tree be thou plucked up by the root and be thou planted in the sea and it shall obey you Woo! praise it to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai we've got a next one to back that one up in Matthew uh, that was that was Luke 17 and 6 now we've got another one to back that one up in Matthew 17 and 20 and Yahweh and then came the apostles and then came the disciples to Yehoshua apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? Right. If you know the whole story of them trying to rebuke a demon. And they couldn't do it. As a matter of fact, let me go up to it in. And Yehoshua rebuked the devil and it departed out of him. And the child was and the and the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Yehoshua apart. Right? they was curious how come we couldn't do it As he, let me just read and said why could not we cast him out and Yahushua said unto them because of your unbelief for very because of your unbelief let me pause there and, and just let that one sink in let me pause there why couldn't they cast him out why are the herbs working for me 
right? Why ain't the herb working for me? Why, why am I always sick all the time? I'm not saying that a man can't be sick. But constantly, 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 you got to start questioning yourself. And is it something you're eating? Is it places that you're going? Is it people that you're hanging around with? When I was in the Christian church, when I was always around those people, I'll say, and this is the truth, I was, I was most of the time, I was sick all the time. And I was looking after myself. But most of the time when you're around sick people, negative people, people that have no future, no hope, and people that don't really like you, always trying to put negativity in your head, it does affect you, it makes you sick. So it's about who you're hanging around, what you're putting in your body, how you're thinking. If you're thinking negative too, that's that's another thing. That is that's actually being um, that's being not non-spiritual. That's that's those mortal thoughts. Let go of those mortal thoughts. That's weighing you down. So if you're thinking negative, you will be down. If you're thinking on the low and thinking down, and you're over heavily word burdened down. If you're thinking on that level, you are going to be that. Whatsoever your mind is taking, that's what you'll be. Whatsoever you take in, meditate on. Uh, or The saying is, what you eat, you are what you eat. You know that very well. So the whole of this, Matthew 17, is good. And so, so they couldn't cast out that demon, and Yehoshua came and did it. And 20 says, and Yehoshua said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed and a mustard seed I put mustard seeds at home they're tiny right if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed ye shall say unto this mountain remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible to you ultimately we're going to get that spiritual power in the new in the new system or maybe even later on when this system starts to fall to, which is falling to pieces now and there's a spirit in the air man Righteousness, I'm going to title this video, Righteousness is, um, Righteousness shall prevail in the earth once again, or something to that effect, Righteousness shall rule in the earth once again, and you can feel the, there's a, um, even though we know that this place is a, a vibration of witch, witches and warlocks, is, witches and warlocks, and you can feel their energy, we know that they're losing their power. So righteousness is right hand side energy is pushing forward and overpowering negative energy. When I come in here, and even if there's any witches around, they get frightened, they get shook. They get shook because the energy of righteousness is taking root in the earth. Yeah, yeah, I'm not entirely that. The energy of righteousness is taking root in the earth. Yeah, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place. And it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible to you. Because the energy of righteousness is taking root in the earth. So we're going to be able to, in that day, Isaiah chapters 40 and around 39 says, In that day shall the Lord, uh, no that's, um, uh, uh, that's um, um, Sarak, no, no it's not Sarak. It's um first of all we've got the one in Isaiah, one of my favourites, Isaiah 40. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, the eagles, they shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. And then um there's one in um Zechariah, I think it's twelve and eight. The, uh, at that time shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem and he that is feeble among them. At that time shall be as David and the angel of the Lord shall be as God as the angel of the Lord before them. So we're going to grow in stature, we're going to grow in power, we're going to grow in faith, we're going to grow in might. And we're going to be, righteousness is going to rule. Righteousness is going to take root in the earth. So here's the last one to kick the ball out of the park. And if there's any witches and warlocks around here, I get very right now with righteous hand, right hand, power and energy. I get very. Matthew chapters 24, 21 and 21 says, And Yehoshua answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, if you have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do 
that which is done to the fig tree because he withered the fig tree yeah and that represented the unfaithful people of those days the unfaithful of our own people he that's so he withered it he said nothing gonna grow from them and that's um that's the two-third niggas and all the wicked right so they with it and that's what's going to be their future that's why they're so negative and um that's why they're so pessimistic because they know they ain't got no future they, they are going with her you know, through the power and spirit of yoga we're going to see them with her but what's going to happen with us yeah if you have faith and doubt not ye shall not only do that which is done to the fig tree but if ye shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast unto the sea it shall be done yes because that is what he's talking about faith faith has that power faith has that ability yes so that is why we are um, we, we, we are um, concentrating on that word there growing in faith and righteousness taking root in the earth and how is that going to happen back to Sirach 14 and 14 says let go from the mortal thoughts cast away the burdens of man Put off now thy weak nature. Put off the carnal thoughts. Grow in the right hand side energy in the, in the mortal thoughts. Thinking of your whole bash and your shy. Your whole shy when you go on the earth is a blueprint to doing that. If you have faith the size of a mustard grain, not only will you do that, which is being done, like healing the sick and um, rebuking the fig tree, the wicked, right? If you rebuke, you're going to have the ability to rebuke the wicked and move mountains. Let me just say it like that. If you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you're going to be able to move mountains. So I won't leave it there. You ain't going to let no one put um, throw no spanner in the works or put negative thoughts on us or mortal thoughts on us, put limitations on us. The movie it doesn't belong to man, it belongs to your whole shot. And we just have to play our position and play it to the best of our ability. Giving our praises to your whole about your shy. Yeah, and it's been a nice night tonight. Chariots are in the background as you can see them there as usual. You know they're always there, just whether they're gonna reveal themselves or not. So yeah, we're looking forward to that time. Abba when righteousness takes root in the earth. We're looking for that time when righteousness takes root in the earth. Yeah, traffic's all around tonight. Got a beautiful chariot in the background there. Look. Oh, there's a helicopter. As usual. diamond that diamond shaped chariot in the background flickering um i think they call it um turquoise a turquoise um chariot there you can see it flickering there yeah one of my favorite colors man the bell color chariot so we're looking forward to the time once again i'll say all praises to your heart, Hashem Yashar, for the spirit on me to do this video. Giving double honors to all the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Looking forward to the time when righteousness and justice take root in the earth. Shalom, until the next one.